welcome to Arizona Living, Your Life, Your Style. I'm your host, Kate Longworth. It's February, which means love is in the air. It's also National Wedding Month, so we're talking about how tying the knot looks today and how it's changed over the past year. But first, we vow to bring you a great show. Here's what's coming up. We're with you in sickness and in health. Why February is a good month to get your body right with a massage. Plus, for rich or not poor, how to take your retirement planning to the next level. And we meet a man being honored for his dedication to help neglected children. All that and much more coming up on Arizona Living. During this National Wedding Month, we're talking to Laura Jacobs, owner of Locky Events and Design. We're talking about how weddings look today and how they're still happening during these unusual times. Laura, I know you're entering your busy season. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us today. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. What services do you offer? So we are a full service wedding and event planning business. We also do full service floral design as well. So um, anything from month of coordination all the way to full planning, full design. Well, first and foremost, I just wanna talk to you um, just how much have weddings changed in the past 12 months and what impact has that had on your business? Yes, yeah, so we've had a lot of change, not only in what weddings look like, but also in safety precautions and the way that we are actually handling weddings. For the most part, we've had postponements, we've had a lot of people downsize, we've had elopements and then celebrations pushed to later on. So there's been a lot of moving parts and a lot of changes and you know, just working with the times to try to still get people married. And I know like the rest of us, um, we're facing changes daily and we're all trying to be as safe as we can. So what adjustments have you personally had to make with your company to help couples who in the past 12 months have still wanted to go forward with their wedding? Yes, yeah, so we have added a smaller package to our um, normal packages where we've done um, kind of elopements and more smaller micro weddings, we call them now. So we've kind of downsized a little there. So we've tried to hit every market that that's available right now. We've adjusted our contract a little bit with pushing deposits to later dates. So whatever we can really do to make it easier on them during this time. What do you think weddings will look like here in 2021? So things in Arizona are slowly getting back to normal a little bit. I think more in the fall, a lot is kind of based on obviously the vaccine that's coming out. Most couples really want to keep their guests safe. That's their biggest and our biggest, um, you know, wish for them. We're seeing a little bit more pickup with 50 person weddings, 60 person weddings versus the 10 to 20 that we were doing um, last year. It's slowly getting back to, to normal a little bit. What are some of the things that you have done and your company has been able to do for couples so they can still have a safe event? Yes, yeah, so we have tried to move most weddings to completely outdoors so we don't have to bring people inside. Um, we, you know, no more tray past hors d'oeuvres. We're doing more stations with a server handing a single plate. Um, definitely custom masks, hand sanitizer stations. We've asked couples to place families together at tables that have already been in quarantine together so that they feel comfortable. We are separating ceremony seats out so that there's more room between people. So really trying to keep with the social distancing as much as possible. So really trying to keep people comfortable, but also still feeling like you're at a wedding and it's not too odd. I'm sure it means so much for couples to have someone like you who's experienced in this event planning and has um, you know, already started making some adjustments with everything that's going on this year. But what advice do you have for brides and grooms who right now are just starting to plan that special day? I think 2021 is so saturated with weddings at the moment because so many push from 2020 to 2021 and then everybody getting engaged that, you know, vendors are booked to the core and venues are booked. And so it makes it a little bit harder to get, you know, the vendors that you want and the actual 
uh, people that you want a part of it. So if you're pushing to 2022 and having a little bit of a longer engagement, it'll be a little bit of a, a easier experience for you, a little less stressful. And then also knowing, you know, hopefully in 2022, we'll be at least back to normal as much as possible. So that's kind of, you know, let your engagement, enjoy your engagement and push it a little bit so that um, you can enjoy the planning process. Some great advice, great insight. Thank you so much, Laura, for your time. We appreciate it. And if you would like any more information on Lockheed Events and Design, please visit their website. Whether it's for Valentine's Day, an anniversary, or just because, if you're looking to get something for a loved one this month, a massage just might be the perfect gift. There's tremendous health benefits from uh, regular massage. Our most popular is the traditional Swedish massage, you know, focused on relaxation, but we have a number of other targeted and customized massage services. This year, we're also, you know, recognizing how people want to shop. We're offering four different methods of delivery. So you can do the traditional in-spa pickup, We'll have curbside pickup for those who don't want to get out of their car. We have an e-delivery option for that gift card, or you can order and we will actually ship a beautiful gift bag with the card to anywhere across the country to whomever you want to receive that. So we want to give you the best value and make it the easiest to deliver this year uh, for all our customers. A little wedding trivia for you. The traditional wedding march by Mendelssohn was first played at an English wedding way back in 1847. It certainly stood the test of time. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, anyhow, more Arizona living marching your way. How to take control of your retirement finances with five key strategies, plus a new treatment to help men with their love life. probably isn't on your mind, but a good plan can be the key to your family's financial future. And that's where the experts at Winston and Companies come in, helping you live happily ever after. The financial industry is a personal touch business. It's, it's about creating relationships. We want to assure a positive outcome for our clients retirement experience. And we do that by using the flight plan, a written plan of action to assure that your retirement experience is on track. Winston and Companies is a family-run business. Back in the beginning days with door-to-door -door debit route collection service, and my wife Millie was always involved backing me up the whole way. And so it was always Millie and I running things. We started it in my garage at my house when my good friend, John Roller, uh, joined me. And we worked out of there for several years until we started doing well. And we built the business into the company that it is today. My son, he has brought so much to our company from a technological standpoint, from a youth standpoint, and the viewpoint of a younger mind. What are the five main focus points of our practice? Again, I reference you to our logo and the five stars above the aircraft. The first star represents income planning, which AARP says is the number one concern of retirees going into retirement, that fear of running out of money and income. The second area is investment planning. We are a fiduciary investment advisory group and we manage portfolios for people and we do a better job than they probably could do on their own especially as they age their propensity to deal in complex money management issues doesn't get better it usually starts to abate the third area right above the tail of the aircraft is tax planning 
What we do is we do holistic tax planning. The fourth area of our practice is in healthcare planning. It is a major part of our practice that many of our competitors simply don't get involved in. And the fifth area of our practice, the, the last area, perhaps maybe one of the most important is legacy planning. Wills, trusts, powers of attorney. So many people reach their 50s and 60s and they do not have even a will because they were busy in life and they just didn't get it done. We invite you to come on down and, and meet us at Winston & Companies because we want to connect with you. Come on in, have a cold drink, have a cup of coffee, and get to know us. Because at Winston & Companies, we are all about forming that relationship and that lifelong bond with our clients. At Camelback Medical Clinic, there's a breakthrough treatment for men that requires no surgery, no needles, and is also drug-free. Erectile dysfunction is so connected to a man's sense of self-worth and ego that we're a little bit embarrassed when we have erectile dysfunction. But generally, if we do nothing, the problem gets worse. Now, ED doesn't fix itself on its own. You've got to take action, and that is what is so beautiful about these treatments is it gets back the spontaneity, and you don't have to have the embarrassment of taking the pill any longer. Well, this new treatment is called acoustic wave therapy. It's clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels. Now, we know erectile dysfunction is a blood flow problem, so we're finally treating the root cause of that problem. Think of this, no pills, no injections, no surgery. We're going to get rid of the ED and get you back to normal function in the bedroom. With traditional treatments, there absolutely are side effects. Just the lack of spontaneity is a big deal for so many guys. And slipping away saying, honey, I got to go take the pill real quick. The headaches, the blurred vision, and that hangover feeling, almost like a fever, is very common. And then if we start talking about the injections, we all know that that comes with significant downsides. Cambridge has studied this technology and shown that it is safe and effective with a high success rate. The American Urological Association, same thing. They even called it revolutionary. We know the science is sound. We know we can regrow blood vessels. This is proven to work. We've treated men of all ages. We had a 77-year-old individual in the clinic the other day. He completed treatments after 10 years of taking the pill, was no longer taking the pill at all and we see this every day and every week. And by the way, his wife was very happy as well. We gotta remember, erectile dysfunction affects two people, and oftentimes they're very happy with the results. Another example, we had a patient who had had his prostate removed and he was a diabetic, older gentleman, so had some health conditions. He was nervous the treatments would not work. Well, he was seeing improved blood flow, just two treatments into the program, that's about a week. He's now able to have eliminated the needles completely. This was a game changer for his relationship. Call us now. We have a special Your View offer today. The initial assessment, the exam, even the blood flow ultrasound with our doctor, totally free. Plus, we're going to throw in a little special gift that couples really love. It produces instant results in the bedroom. This is all free, about $500 to those that call us right now. That's Camelback Medical Clinic. You can call us at 480-535-1000. That's 480-535-1000. Or visit us at camelbackmedical.com. We've all heard the old wives' tale that you need something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue when you get married. Well, that comes from the old English rhyme that named four good luck objects that would ensure couples a long and happy marriage. Also bringing you good fortune, more Arizona living straight ahead. We meet a man who is using his past to help the futures of children in need, plus a hockey program designed for girls. It's stories 
like this that warm your heart. We're happy to introduce you to a man who is using his past experiences with the foster system to give back to the community and help ensure that abused and neglected children have a brighter future. Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, and I've been a volunteer for the CASA organization here in Tucson since 2012. I have had seven or eight cases, which has now involved about 12 children. CASA is a reporter. You report to the court of what's happening in a child's life, but it's more or less you become a friend to this child and you have nothing to do with the system, the DCS or lawyers or anything like that. All you do is report to the court of what's happening with this child and what's in the best interest of this child. But really it's becoming a friend to the child, getting the child to trust you and talk to you. I was in the foster care system for 11 years I always wanted somebody there because I was in several different foster homes and somebody to talk to. And when I retired out here, I said, I, I need to do something. I found the CASA organization, which lets you be with this child so the child gets permanency, whether that's reunification or, or forever home, you know, adoption or whatever. So that became more fulfilling to me and that seems like I, could, I felt better doing it. Every case is different, of course, like every child. My current case is a little six-year-old boy who has a heart of gold, you know, and would like to be adopted. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure he gets the right family. Being nominated for the Congressional Medal of Honor is such a privilege and such a, a blessing that I really don't deserve. If anything, the CASA program deserves it. Um, They've given me the opportunity to be myself and to put my best foot forward to help these children. So I can only say that it's qu quite an honor that I, I, I really don't understand how I, I was picked. Oh, I get more out of it than the kids get. I don't think there are any set qualifications. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be have a master's degree or anything like that in anything. All you have to do is have the willingness to open your heart and to let the child in. Be a good listener, you know? That's about the best thing I would say you need to have. Are you a good listener? If you can just sit there and listen to a child, it's well worth it. You're more than qualified. Of course, you're gonna get back more than you give. That's always, that always happens. I haven't found a case yet that that doesn't happen. So I would consider volunteering with this organization or something like this. Volunteering is a great thing to do, <laughs> period. Stick around, more Arizona Living is coming your way. Time to cool off in the desert. We take you to Mesa to a rink dedicated to girls hockey. no putting the Coyotes in the penalty box. The Arizona National Hockey League team is sharing its love for the game with its girls' Kachinas program. We're here in the city of Mesa. This is the first rink uh, specifically made and in, in to house girls' hockey in, uh, in the country. really, really proud of the Kachinas program. It's our youth girls hockey program. It really is something that really allows young girls here in our market to really fulfill their passion around the sport. 
to really come out and uh, have fun, enjoy. And uh, one thing that as, as someone new to this role, someone new to this market, I've been really surprised at how big a youth hockey market and particularly girls hockey market it is. This is the number one growth market for young girls. It's number three for boys. And the Kachinas program is really one of the most successful programs in the country, especially here in, in this rink in Mesa. It's not just Kachinas that we're behind, but it's uh, it's little, little Howlers, which is our little young guys. It's our second stride, which are folks who are a little bit more experienced. It's our Growlers program, which I have been uh, I've been asked to participate in, which is our adult league and our, and our learn to play program, which just lets people learn again, learn to play, get on the ice, learn the basics, learn how to skate, learn how to hold a stick, uh, learn how to shoot into a net. We feel that at hockey, you, you develop a different different sort of mentality. You develop teamwork. You develop. You know, you, you help develop characteristics, social aspects, because hockey isn't all around team sport. Hockey can't be dominated by one player. You have to have a team, and you have to be able to work well with your team. And that's something we really, really do here, is help, help organize them to be good people on and off the ice. We have a volunteer program that helps all of our girls of all ages be able to get those volunteer opportunities, work with different groups, expand their resume, expand their portfolio. Um, we have what's called a big sister, little sister program. So like our older teams get to, get to sister up with younger teams and go and support them and show what it takes to get them to the next level um, and, and just really help build character. And, and, it, and, and it just overall helps them in, in life. It's gotten me to where I am. Everything about my life is hockey. Same with Lindsay, same with a lot of our coaches. And it's because we love our sport. We want to give back because it's given us so much. This rink really shows is our commitment to really be a community leader, to be engaged in our community, to be innovative. So it's not just let's throw a program out there for kids, let's actually be involved in creating facilities and helping support the growth of the sport. As I say over and over again, we're looking for Coyote fans and for Coyote fans in waiting and really provide an opportunity to be a community leader in all various ways. And so really excited, not only for the rink, but for all of our programs. Every day we want to be seen as a community leader, as a reality ad partner, and as being innovative. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kate Longworth. We'll see you next time on Arizona Living, your life, your style, where we help you live your best life. Bye.